Hey friends! Thanks for coming in for another video today. Today I have something very special. I have a brand called Define Me. And if you guys haven't heard of it, it is an indie fragrance house. And their whole thing is that they are vegan, cruelty-free, sustainable, and they have fragrance oils that are made of coconut oil, which I find really cool. So I was gifted these, but it's not a collaboration. All the opinions are my own, as per usual. If you guys have followed this channel, you should know that I'm very outspoken about how I feel about things. I just happen to really, really like these ones, and so I wanted to tell you what I thought about this little set. So if that interests you, just keep on watching. So first off, I think that we should start off with this super cute oil fragrance set. So like I said, these are made out of coconut oil, which is really cool because these are specifically formulated for sensitive skin, you know, unless you're allergic to coconut oil, in which, you know, then try one of the fragrances. This has seven different fragrances, so I'm gonna read you guys like the call outs just to give you a little bit more about the brand. So it's a clean fragrance, vegan, cruelty free, gluten free. Some people apparently not only are allergic when you ingest it, but like on the skin too, which sounds very intense. It's phthalate free, sustainable. For every kit, $1 goes to help education of young women in developing countries. So if you like a fragrance brand that stands for something, this could be a really cool one to check out. And they've been super, super nice um, to let me try these fragrances. And they sent me a cute package. And so I want to tell you guys what I think. Oh, I just realized that I'm missing a bottle. Hold on a second. I have another full size bottle and this is like my favorite one. So give me a minute. Okay, so we're just gonna go in order on the back. I have a little description. So the first one is Audrey. And Audrey, I actually have a travel size spray of. So you can get the oil and the spray. And the oil's nice because some days you want something that's a little nourishing to the skin as well. Oh my God, so, so good. So let me read you guys the notes on this one. So off the top, we have peony and pink rose. In the middle, we have jasmine magnolia blossom, and in the base, we have cedar and sandalwood. So what I get out of this one is I get that really nice, fresh and clean, light pink fragrance. So what I mean by that is, if you guys have ever smelled a fresh blossomed peony flower, and it's got that really light, delicate floral scent, not a heavy white floral, but a pink floral that smells fresh and almost, waxy, which sounds weird, but this is light and delicate, not a kind of floral that's going to give you a headache. And this one I've worn the, um, the spray of, and this was a really nice layering fragrance. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, if you like Burberry Brit Sheer, that's a nice kind of peony fragrance, but I don't believe that brand is vegan or cruelty free. And this one is so you know when you can opt for something a little bit more indie and get something that's more sustainable for the planet you know that's the way to go so if you like light florals that are a little bit soapy very fresh very delicate this would be perfect for the office next one up we have clara and clara has blue violet lily hibiscus lilac powder and oak moss oh uh, so this one is it's almost cloud-like if I could explain it. It's it's fluffy, it's airy, it's not too sweet. It's very calm and delicate and it's got a powderiness that is a summertime powderiness. I know sometimes that can go like a little wintry. No, this is spring summer. It almost smells like what they fragrance, like baby wipes or, which sounds weird and I, I hope you guys don't um, take it that way, but I really get that nice violet coming through and the lilac, oh my God, what a happy fragrance. This smells like springtime in the Midwest. If any of you guys are familiar with lilac, 
it's like the smell of my childhood every time that my mom would walk me to school in the morning which was we literally lived right across from it but it was my elementary school there was a lilac tree and we'd walk past it and it would always be so fresh and I can remember being a little kid walking by and just like it smells like that like it's so delicate and once again if you're not a fan of florals, this is why I really like this house because they're not a floral that like slaps you in the face. Ow, ooh, I smacked my nail on the glass. Ugh. As I was saying, it's not a floral that slaps you in the face. It is a floral that surrounds you and comforts you and it's so lovely. So this one has to be one of my favorites. This is Lilac, Gardenia, Ylang Ylang, Freesia, Coconut, and Rosewood. So, oh my God, that gardenia really comes out and is so complemented by a really light, airy coconut water and that undeniable fluffy purple lilac. So if you like a little bit of white floral, if you like a little bit, something that has a little bit of a punch to it, oh my God, it's just, if you guys have not smelled the gardenia flower, this is so authentic. And when I'm telling you, I own so many fragrances. This cabinet is full. And then I have an entire box of samples. And then I have a stack of things that I have to review. Look at that dent. I just got this. Look at how far down that is already. I just got this. So this is soapy. It's floral, but in the best way possible. Um, if you're not into white florals, I'm not sure if you'd like this, but if you love gardenia like me, if it's your happy fragrance, Delphine, so freaking good. So I like could not get my hands off this one. This next one is very interesting to me. It's called Harper and it has pink grapefruit, neroli, bergamot, honey, cedarwood, and amber. So right off the top, I get citrus, but I almost get something like slightly spicy coming through. So, and slightly green, almost like the stem of a leaf. And so if you like something that is a little bit more herbaceous, has a little bit more of a tart punch, it definitely doesn't have sweetness. This one is a really interesting one. Probably the most interesting of the group. Next is called Kahana. Now, how cool is this? It is infused with aquamarine crystals. Like, oh, that is so cool. I, and when I tell you guys, this smells to me, without reading the notes, this smells very beachy, very coconut sunscreen, which I know a lot of people are like, Olivia, I'm over that, okay? I'm not, I am not. It smells like summer, but when I tell you, that this lasts for 16 hours on skin. Excuse me? <laughs> 16 hours on skin, that's preposterous to me. My skin eats stuff alive. People will say something is a powerhouse and I put it on my skin and four hours later, I can't smell it. But I put this on 16 hours. The next day I woke up out of bed and when I threw down my, my sheets, the smell off my body wafted and just hit me. And I know it wasn't my clothes because your girl doesn't sleep in any. <laughs> we have hibiscus, pink pepper, coconut water, white orchid, suntal, and blonde wood. To me, this is coconut sunscreen, a little bit of a woody dry down, but this is just, this is coconut done so, 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 so well. So if you guys like coconut, honey, this is the most long lasting coconut fragrance I have ever tried in my entire life. And last but not least for my sweet babies, this is Sophia Isabel. So for this one, we have off the top mandarin and tangerine, black currant, jasmine, vanilla, and sugar. So, oh my God, this one, borderline gourmand. You get that citrus in the beginning, but it's almost sweet and candy-like with that sugar, but with a vanilla, like ambery base. So it's got depth to it. It's not just a tangy, sweet, sugary type fragrance. It has depth to it. 
but you have to be a sweet lover for this one. But I gotta tell you, this one, along with Kahana, that I think my top three would be Delphine and Kahana and this one. And in no particular order. They're just, they are just so good. So I could see wearing this one a little bit more in fall just because summer in LA gets super hot and sweet fragrances get even more intensely sweet. But, oh my gosh, if you guys like sweet fragrances, this one is the one you have to check out. So guys, we are to the end. And I have to tell you that, drum roll please, brrr, for the very first time on this channel, I have an affiliate link. Ah, I have an affiliate link. And the thing is, is I waited. They, they reached out a couple times and they're like, hey, do you wanna check out that affiliate program? And I waited until I fully formed my opinion because I want my authenticity to always be protected. Because if it's not, to be quite frank, I can't lie. Like, I, well, I can lie, but it's gonna be quite obvious because you guys see how I am. I am very, I'm a loud mouth, I'm off the cuff. I say how I feel about things. And I think what really did it for me was that day that I woke up and 16 hours later, Kahana slapped me in the face. And that's when I knew I was like, you know what, I will. I will check out the affiliate program because I am not um, linking my name to any brand that I don't absolutely 1000% love what they have going on. So if you're interested in any of these fragrances that I mentioned, I will put the affiliate link below. And I wanna tell you guys, the cool part about affiliate links is any money that I make is going to directly go back into the channel for me to continue to do this because I have so much fun, but to be honest guys, this is an expensive hobby. Oh, girl is an expensive hobby. And so I wanna make sure that I can continue to do this. So that's why I'm having fun with these affiliate links. So if any of these sound right up your alley, check them out. They're top notch quality. I was seriously blown away. I personally had not heard of this brand before, just because like I said, it's indie. I, I, I didn't know about it, but I am so happy I found out about it. Like. And their oils, the oils don't project as much as the sprays. I'll just say that. But if you have sensitive skin and you really can't do a spray, do a coconut oil based fragrance because they still last. They just don't project as much. And they have such an amazing, feminine, beautiful array of fragrances. And I really like their aesthetic. I mean, look at this cute, look at this. They have like butterflies on everything. And you guys know me, I'm not terribly girly. So it makes me want to be more girly. I'm like, oh my God, I feel so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have missed filming. I have missed you guys. And I really, really hope that you enjoy. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.